<clears throat> this is part one of the broken power stroke. Um, I'm going to be removing the FICM, F-I-C-M, which is Fuel Injection Control Module. Um, this is the first step of trying to fix my truck because I have an, another FICM, Fuel Injection Control Module. So I'm going to remove this one and put the other one on to see if maybe this one has low voltage or just, just who knows. So this is going right offhand this is going to be a probably lengthy video so um, just bear with me and you can skip through and I might try to shorten it up but first thing is to disconnect the batteries there is two uh, in these trucks and uh, they are a eight millimeter nut so you take them off and just tuck them away that way you ain't got to worry about setting anything on fire or I don't, I don't think you'd set anything on fire but you know it might weld something if it would ever get connected um, so let me get you set up here um, I've done this a time or two before so um, it's been a little while uh, I think all you need is an 8 millimeter and a 10 millimeter socket a ratchet and a pair of pliers and shop towels of course um, let's see let me grab you right here the fecum is right there underneath this uh, reservoir the antifreeze reservoir and I think I, ha I have a this truck is leaking cool somewhere because this tank was full the other day and it said here, I don't know, a week without being started. And um, it's down a little bit. Um, you want to, you don't have to, but I'm going to disconnect this hose right here with this clamp, uh, which is the pliers. It just squeezes right off and well, you're gonna see uh, what's going on here. So hopefully I can remember how to do this pretty smoothly so let's see what all you get to see here so let's get this show on the road It'd be nice if this would fix it I don't think it's going to just my personal opinion um, because usually a fecum either is like a no start or tries to start but won't start and, and the injectors they buzz so I know it's I don't know I just I don't think it's gonna be it but being that I have an extra one you know what I'll just take it off with this one else it's low so I ain't gotta worry about it coming out anywhere so just kind of took this thing out of the way um, I put it underneath right here it's right there just kind of so kind of out of the way you don't have to worry about getting any uh, debris let me make sure let me square you around here try to do the best I can with it okay using a dog food pan to hold my thing up here so anyways uh, there's a bolt here and a bolt here uh, right here I think they're eight millimeter they might be ten let's see uh, yeah it's simple the hardest thing to do is getting the well, I see it was what did I do Well, because my flashbox is going to be um, right beside me. Okay. I'll just... Um... Now what I do with it? That is... Um, 
And I'll pause you here. I amaze myself sometimes. Not paying attention to what I'm doing. I had to frazzle and sock it upside down. I wasn't even watching what I was doing. Goodness gracious. But believe me, I have done this before, so. It may not look like it. But I have. I am not a professional. So, um, anyways, um, I just, I would like for it to be this, but I'm very, uh, I got negative feelings about this. So, try not to lose your stuff. I'm bad to lay stuff around and have to hunt for it and spend half my time. Oh yeah. There's uh, one underneath here that you gotta take off. I forgot about that. Brainiac! Usually, I thought I never take it off. I don't remember taking it off before. Maybe, maybe I just disconnected all these and set it off to the side. I don't know. I got the wrong pair of pliers for this. Ta -ta. I gotta go get some rags, so I'm always here. I promise I've done this. Okay, I'm back. Got some shop towels. Yeah, I know. So, you slide this back into position. There we go. And this will probably get a little messy. Hey Mason. Spit on people. Uh -oh. Alrighty. I'll see you here in just a second. Alrighty. Um, I'll just set the reservoir right there in a bucket. I'll leak a little bit. Um, Right there, I just stuffed a rag down in the hole. And right here is the fuel injection control module. There's a bolt here, there's a bolt there, and there's two in the back. 
And there's three plugs in underneath, so um, set you up right here. If you can. Let's see. Here we go. Let me show you. Let me your foot. Okay. So, uh, let's see what we got here. Um, I forget. I think. In. I made a mess too, not what? paying attention to what I was doing. Uh oh. They're right here. Okay. It's got to come off. This bracket's got to come off. So, I'm going to pause you here and. To get the right size yeah. sockets to help shorten the video. Okay. Uh, upon further inspection here, the last person who ever put this on um, was not me, by the way. Um, did not install this correctly. See this bracket right here? What I pointed to is that is not the bowl. That is to hold the, the logic side or whatever they call it to the other side. Uh, these are just screws. Uh, but this bracket right here, I'm pointing to right here, it's got two holes right there and right there. Well, whoever put this on, I know who it was, I won't say who. Of course, I don't think it would matter. Um, this is supposed to be behind the nuts that is on here. So, I mean, it's sturdy, but it's not done correctly so we have to uh, take the bracket off a little bit before before we uh, can even attempt the uh, taking it off so, he has a 9 millimeter there. That's wow. the so, okay. Alrighty. So, it's a uh, 8 millimeter. I said it was. There we go. Oh, where's another one down there? I forget. There's two of them. That's what happens when uh, somebody puts it on for you for free. If he's just in a hurry or what. But let's see here. Let me show you. This is the bracket. Um, this was on top of the nuts, so it wasn't doing anything. Hmm. I don't recall any of them being that big before. Let me guess, the uh, lost the nuts or something? It'd be my luck, so. Uh, once again, we'll pause you again. 
Okay, these are a 13 millimeter. Anyways, yeah, I don't recall, well, maybe it was, I don't know. It's, it's been two or three years since I changed one. Probably three years. I sent one off and had it uh, upgraded to the 58 volt and had it what they call bulletproof where it doesn't ever there with a lifetime warranty. Oops. Let's see what happened here. Okay. So, what I'm going to do once I get these off, I'll come back to you. Okay, there's two way back in here. Let me take out this phone holder. There's a one right here, right where my thumb is. See, my thumb wiggling right there. And then there's one right down here. Right here. See my finger wiggling? There's the see the silver. That's I got a socket on there. It's 13. Thing in the back is it is in the front. So once I get these off, then I'll show you. Well, I can take this one off. Just a little bitty ratchet, like the quarter inch drive or whatever it is. This is the worst one to get to because it's right there at the one of the antifreeze lines. Get to take these out, these uh, bushings for that right there, like I just forgot to do. Oh. Pull out awful easy. Well, at least it's not a little bitty washer. Great shot on my arm. Okay, this comes right there. There we go. And on the back side right there is the plug-ins and I'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, I got them undone. Here's the three, three plug-ins. And surprisingly, it, it could have possibly been this because this middle plug-in came out really, really easy. So I'm wondering if it wasn't in all the way. Maybe it was just, I don't know, probably not. Anyways, um, I'm not going to put this one back on. I'm going to put my other one on just to be on the safe side. So, um, got to be very careful with these things because they're plastic. And they will pull apart right here, right where my thumb is. They will pull apart really easy, so you got to be very careful and 
not uh, breaking. And this in here is already the clamp, the little thing that bites right there, right where my thumb is, that helps hold it. It's loose or broke, so it's. I don't know. So, get out of here. Here it is. This is a fuel injection control module. Yeah, here in the sunshine. See right here. That's where it plugs in at. There's the three. This in here is the one that was loose, so possibly maybe got my fingers crossed that it just wasn't plugged in. Really, because you got to make sure these are in really good. So. Uh, Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I know this video is a little Navistar International. If some of y'all didn't know that already. So anyways, um, that's that. Um, I'm not sure what else to say, but ain't there where it goes. Um, so uh, some of the stuff. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to comment, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> Sweat bees are bad. <laughs> um, so uh, this is part one or the removal of a fuel injection control module, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there will be part two tomorrow or the next day or whenever I get time because I may try to cut hay tomorrow. So. Anyway, stay tuned and uh, appreciate all the feedback. Thumbs up if you like it. And give me a thumbs down if you don't like it. And uh, I'm always open for suggestions. Suggest, uh, open for suggestions on how to make it better or uh, if there's something I need to change or if I need to elaborate more on or to focus on, whatever. So just let me know and uh, we'll catch you a little later. So thanks for watching.